everybody, it's Rockman Triple Boulevard. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale Darkness in the last episode. We, um, beat Snaddle and, um, saved the city of Phoenix, and, um, Justy said there was a new area outside of town that we can go to now. So, we're gonna try to go to there. Let's go. We don't know. Cypher was witness transporting things in this area. Okay. Let's see. The scooter, what? Alright, it's possible to go any further. Alright, let's go back to Phoenix. Okay, this lady's talking to us now. Try going to the northern desert, didn't you? Northern desert sand is very deep and ordinary scooter could possibly make it through the sand. That sand. Oh, now we get an email. From Net and Pyrite. SS Libra. Okay. Let's go to Pyrite. Off to Net's house. I can't even see. <laughs> oh, my pancakes. We have pancakes right now. I like pancakes now. So good. Mmm. Right. Some good ass pancakes. Okay. Off to pry right. Off to net we go. Come on, Netty. Man, I wish I could cut, but I'm not gonna. It's <coughs> a <coughs> 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 so shortcut to get up to net, which is really annoying. This should just be. I have to clear out the cipher in this era. Like I said, I'm probably gonna be like I'm a few like i like this was like episodes ago. Like my my laptop broke when I had that video file record. I said I was gonna make a new one. I am when I clear out cipher. When, I'm just saying when you clear out cipher from this building, this should just have an automatic elevator to get up from that instead of having you take like four. It's so stupid. Ah, gosh. All right. Um. Let's go in. See what Net has to say. It's bit. Yo, I heard what happened in Phoenix City from Marsha. I'm amazed that they can even manage to hold Justy hostage. Yeah, I know, right? Justy's just such a beast. I mean, how can they hold that little boy hostage? That is people here for some. They want to help us find the missing the Pokemon that we're missing in the SS Lever. All right. My bond slide is gone. Sorry, child. For a million news, the SS Lever disappeared underground. I was just hard on the board ship. So apparently this little girl, sure why not. Bound Sly. Okay. What does a Bound Sly look like? Okay, I explain what happened. Oh wow, that's Cypher's hideout, of course. Okay. So I'm gonna need Purr, Purr and Gatenport, ooh. Mackin and Purr. Mackin, I love Mackin, so. They're telling us to go to Mackin. To get. Okay, that's what Bond Sign looks like. Um. Go, so they're, going to, they're telling us to go to Mackin and, Mac and Purr Game Port to try to get the scooter fixed. That's what, um, Bitten Ned just told us to. Like, oh yeah, you should go see Purr and Mackin and Game Port. Yeah, let's fix your scooter right up and make it eligible to go in the desert. Like, I'm pretty sure you're required to go to Game Port right off the bat anyway. But just a spoiler alert Mackin is not going to be there. He's somewhere else, and I know where he is. I don't think the game actually directly tell. Well, I think it actually, 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 I think Per does tell you. What am I saying? I'm pretty sure Per does tell you where he is. But just, 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 just to forewarn you, Mackin is not there. But um, I'm not sure if it's required that you go to Game Port. It might be, but I'm just gonna go there just in case. We're only four minutes into the recording. I mean, we're gonna be going to the SS Libra soon. Possibly even this episode, actually. Cause Mackin gets our scoot once Mackin gets our scooter fixed, we um get to go right there. And the scooter looks really cool after you get it fixed. It's like a <coughs> <coughs> like kind of a hovercraft thing almost. It's pretty sick. So you like hover over the sand. And here we are on Gate and Port. And Dust Goal, I don't care. Screw Dust Goal. Those are actually pretty good, like, Dusk Collapse, and like, Dusk Noir, like, mad tech, or like, super tanks. Yeah, I heard from Bit. Yeah. Yeah, I need the scooter. Grandpa's gone out, he said, just like before. 
Yeah, I was the only one who knows about the traffic parts. All right. It's sick. And that's Snaddle over there. And that's me. Yeah, I took we I took out one of the Cypher's head admins. Up oh, there he goes, like a little faggot. Okay, maybe Purr doesn't tell you where Mackin is. Okay. Okay, let's see. Screw the modified cipher down, right? Oh, Grandpa, it's a headache. Oh yeah, he's at Dr. Kaminko's. He does tell you. <laughs> so Mackin's at Dr. Kaminko's, right? What the hell is this? Oh, it's this is this it's this guy. Hey, hey guy, how you doing? And it's two uh helpers, I guess. <laughs> Mr. Verich. Hey, there goes blue-haired guy and red-haired guy. Cool, man, cool. I wonder, what the sto I wonder what the story is with that guy. He's kind of randomly showing up, you know? It's, don't really know what's going on with him. So, he's right next door to Dr. Kaminko's. Off we go! Dr. Kaminko's health. Okay. God, it's really dark in here. Like, I told you, the TV screen's really dark. It's like pitch right now on this. Wait, who goes there? Oh, it's Chobin, hey Chobin. Still don't recognize me after uh, this is the second time me coming here. When I went to pick up Jovi. Oh, another burglar. You're a fucking idiot. Chobin I am. Or Chobin am I or something like that. <laughs> Come in, go away, Chobin. Ah, I love Chobin. I should go faggot, but I do love him. Sun turning Gyarados, damn. Oh, fuck, you have a Gyarados. Who's starting? Yes, the dynamic duo is starting. That means, wait. Yeah, I managed to do my story. So, yeah, um. Dull, Thundershock, and I guess Match Punch Sun Curve. There's not much I can do to it. Oh, I thought I was kidding. Thrash. I love it. It's so funny. If you live, holy crap. I'm actually really surprised nothing was. Planted roots. Ooh, you're gaining a little bit of health, are you? Wow, that really scares me. Match punch. Goodbye, Sun Kern. Have a nice life. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I've been coughing for the past two days. Wow, we didn't get shit from that thing. And it's just a crash again. Uh, 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 uh. Oh god, fucking critical. I think my life. Jeez, that was cheap. That was actually kind of unfair. He's, that thing is just thrash on me many times, but never, never gotten criticals on me, so that, that's why I, I'm kind of annoyed about that. Kind of need Flappy for the next fight a little bit. Yes, there is a next fight after this. Trouble lost, trouble lost, trouble lost. Oh, well, my glasses, I can't see. You're like Velma. My, my glasses! Where are they? I got, uh, God. <laughs> Uh, All right, Chubbin lost. Oh, this is devastating. Chubbin, Chubbin demands a rematch. Chubbin, stop talking to the third person. You fuck. Chubbin. Oh, Doctor Kaminko. Doctor Kaminko, you know who I am too. Don't tell me you think I'm another burglar. Trying to teach this burglar lesson. Burglar, burglar. You say no one. Dude, I'm not a burglar. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> <coughs> Chubbin understands. It is it. What is it? It's it. What is it? I love that song from Rock Band. I don't even remember who it's by. You can feel it, see it, hear it today. Foo foo foo, yes, very soon. No, I do not want to flee. Fine, let us begin. To Rumble. There's under the time has come for a robot, robot Pokemon to finally reveal itself. Come hit the Robo Groudon! Rubble ground on. What? Oh shit. Uh oh. Oh, that looks like Chobin in there. Oh god, he's coming out of the fountain. <gasps> it's ground on! Robo ground on! Chobin! Ah! Robocrat on go! Ah. 
God, this is who you battle. You've been warned. Robo Grad on Chobin. Kind of a boss fight kind of thing. It's got, it's got the boss music to it. Sunflora and Gyarados, he evolved to Sunflora in that cutscene somehow. I don't get it either. Okay, please tell me I'm healed. Fuck, SNG's probably gonna die now because that fucking crit and threat. God damn it. Alright. And he's got Intimidate. That's probably that's probably why I couldn't kill the Sun, the sun Curve. Because of Intimidate, I guarantee you. Sunflora. Jump in a lake! Oh. Please be on, Barello. Please be on. Fuck! That was the last thing I needed right now. Come on. If I actually lose this fight, that'd be sad. I, honestly, this fight would be so much easier if that loser didn't crit me with Thrax. That's so fucking gay. Alright. Ooh, pound. I'm scared. Alright. Turn some flora, Mega Drain Gyarados. I don't, I don't understand how Brellum is this fast, dude. This is why this is why I didn't need. I couldn't have SMG die. I'm, it's gonna be so hard to take out this Gyarados now. Okay, some floors at least dead. Pop it. Okay. Um. <laughs> I don't even know. I'll just, I'll just guess I'll just stun Spore Gyarados. And it misses. Come on. Thank you for attacking Brolin. This is really cheap. I've never had problems with this fight. Okay, hop up, Stan. Hop up, sucks. Thank you. Fucking Gyarados, God. Still not a level up. And he's got a Tropius. Hi, I came confused. Hi, you fucking idiot. Gaining on Gyarados now. Gaining on it. Just gaining on it. I think it's such a tank. What level is it? What is that? Like 25? I know Ryu's not a special attack. Holy shit. Come on, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Yes! Ha! Ah! Yes, you outsped Tropius. Please kill it. No, come on! Teddy Ursa's so close. Please don't be on Teddy Ursa. Or please live. It's not. Okay, thank God. Fucking Gyarados! That thing is Gyarados are not that tanky. They're really not. I don't get it. Okay, Mega Drain. If Mega Drain doesn't kill it, I'm gonna kill myself. Is it dead? Okay. Man, this fight was annoying. I never had drop problem with this fight because I I always started with Flareon, and Flareon is a is a fire type, and. I had SN and I had like a Flappy on my team too, so it'd be so easy because he has like all grass types and the Gyarados. So it's like. <coughs> yeah, Tropius is fucking slow. <coughs> <coughs> wow, Teddy Ursa, pulling through. Nice job. Match I, I don't even know why I'm even doing Match Punch. It's grass and flying. Okay, Teddy Ursa's gonna kill him now though, so. And that fight gave me more trouble than it should have. It really did. Yeah, that fight, that fight gave me more trouble than it should have. Honestly. Robo Ground on Chobin. We have defeated. Chobin lost, lost with Robo Ground on. Chobin lost. Oh. Robot broke. Oh well. God, I really wish we weren't like 14 and a half minutes into the recording. That battle took longer than it should have. I could have beat that battle easy, easier if I had SNG. But. With the freaking, what's it called? Stupid thrash critting me right before the battle. So unfair. It'd be so much easier if the dude had a Magikarp. Oh, uh, that Robo Grand, huh? 
As you wish. I wasn't even paying attention to the text, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think he was talking about Robo Quiogre, uh, I don't even know. I wasn't paying attention. Parcha, man, yeah, Mac, and I know, I know, I know. Trumpet, I don't want your PDA, your ass! You screwed me over like twice! God. Yeah, to get to Mac, you're just supposed to go down here. I think. Is it? Nope, you're not. Son of a bitch. Alright, um. So let's go over here. What are you doing? Okay, oh, never mind. Yeah, whatever. Why even? You fucking douche. Alright, here we go, and now we can go see Mackin. He's working on Robo Quioga. Oh my god! Wasn't so fucking dark, I wouldn't have walked back in. What a waste of like 30 seconds right there. Holy shit. That's fucking gay. A rare candy. Only one rare candy. Piss off. Okay, I guess we can go talk to Mac and now. Yeah, I'm hitting A on him. Okay. Robo Clown, I got to go. Mackin, what up? Okay, HQ Lab. Yeah, I know your name's Mackin. But I had Mackin in his hyper back then. Alright, uh, so yeah, I need your help with the scooter. Modify your scooter, thanks. Uh, finally done. Okay, scooter along the way. Awesome. And really quick. Before we end this video off, just really quick, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna evolve. Wait. 17. 17. Okay, I'm gonna be evolving Teddy Ursa real quick. Sorry for this, taking this time, this long. I'm gonna use the rare candy on him. Cause he's the farthest away. Use. Teddy or so. Here we go. <laughs> Teddy Ursa's evolving. <laughs> Next episode, we're probably gonna be evolving Flaffy. Cause that was our only rare candy we get, but um For now, I mean. But we're gonna be evolving him. Don't worry. Now we have this guy, the big bear! Urzering! Did hear some involved in Urzering? Yes. Awesome. Okay, now that we um got our scooter fixed and we can go down to that area and we evolved Teddy Urz into Urzering, we're gonna end things off here. Next time on Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, we are going to be um going to that um area, SS Libra. Yeah. Um to with our new modified scooter. Okay. Um. See you guys next time.